Okay, let's do our warm ups and see how things go. <laughs> so feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones toward the floor, bottom ribs toward your spine and up. Get that lengthening through your spine as that core supports you. Shoulders back and down and crown toward the ceiling. Take a few moments just centering inward, breathing, noticing how your body is this morning or whatever time you are. Feel your feet get centered over both of them evenly. And then inhaling, arms reaching out at shoulder level. Exhale, hands to your chest, elbows a little bit back. Stretch to the front, keeping your shoulders down. And then exhale again behind you, clasp your fingers together and lift your heart and press your head slightly back, a nice back bend. And then pivot at your hips, exhale, come on over, arms toward the ceiling and head toward the floor. So take a few breaths, just breathe and relax. Keep lifting through the sitting bones, getting a stretch on the back of your legs just a little bit. And then with your chin in, slowly wind your way back up and heart high, head back, shoulders down, coming into that back bend once more. Take a moment and breathe, lift your heart. Inhale to the top, exhale, release your arms. Back in mountain pose, just take a moment, observing how your body is responding today. And again, inhaling, arms are reaching out, hands to your heart, stretch to the front. And again, exhale behind, clasp the opposite way with both fingers, shifting over once as you lift your heart. And again, exhale, pivot over and relax. So just spread your toes, lift your sitting bones, Tuck in your chin, move your head around, get that neck releasing a little bit. And again, knees bent, and from the bottom of the spine, wind back all the way up. And again, lift your heart into the back bend. Just breathe deep, stretch long, and sink evenly into your feet. Inhale to the top, release your arms, and again, Focus on what your body is doing, all that circulation and energy flowing. And then keeping the whole body nice and straight, bring your arms to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, pass them, turn them around and clasp. Bring your arms next to your ears and pull your shoulders and shoulder blades down, crown and fingers up. And then no twisting, lean to the side and get those ribs stretching apart. So press the foot you're leaning away from down, just a gentle stretch along that side. Make sure you're not leaning the shoulder forward, pull it back. And then inhale to the center, shoulders still down, switch the other hand to the front. And again, bring your arms next to your ears and stretch long. Exhale, no twist, leaning to the side for that lateral movement. Feel the contraction as you're leaning and the stretch on the opposite side. And again, on an inhalation, come back to the center, release your arms back to mountain pose. Just take a moment feeling all that motion and circulation in your body. And Remember, we want to really stretch the spine apart when we twist so it's got room to move. So base of the spine, base of the skull, stretch them apart. And again, arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders and clasp your elbows. Spread your toes out, get everything nice and stretched apart and exhale over to one side. Take a breath. And as you exhale, come on over in the twist and relax. <clears throat> See if you can keep your weight on both feet evenly. Keep your arms next to your ears. Lift your sitting bones maybe a little bit. Keep breathing. And then slowly work your way up, still in the twist, 
and look toward the ceiling, lifting your heart. But remember, gentle on your low back while you're twisting. Shoulder blades down, elbows back, heart high. And then inhale up, exhale around to the center and switch your arms. And again, stretch and lengthen and exhale over the other side. Another breath. And as you exhale, come on over and release any tension. As you're leaning toward that one side, make sure that you try to keep your weight on both feet evenly. Keep breathing, relaxing, arms by your ears. And again, staying in your twist, work your way back up and lift your heart, shoulders down and breathe. And then on an inhalation, come to the top, exhale around to the center. Arms stretching up in an extended mountain. Keep those shoulders and shoulder blades toward your waist. And the crown and fingertips reaching high. And then we'll swan dive forward. So arms out and chest and chin lead a little bit. And then drop all the way into ragdoll. Just hang. Let your arms go wherever they feel like dropping to today. Pull in if you like with the hands behind your legs a little deeper for that stretch if you want to. And then arms back to the front and slowly work your way up. Shoulders coming up, back and down and again into mountain pose. So take a moment, feel your spine all energized and ready to work. And let's do a little circling with our hips. So bring your feet together, bend your knees toward your toes, not beyond, don't overdo your knees. Hands above your knees, position don't support, so no pressure in your knees. And then circle with those knees going toward your toes and around. And feel your lower body working a little bit gently through that hip pelvis area and through the knees and the ankles and the feet. And then stop and circle the other way. And again, just notice how your body responds. Letting things even out, going both directions about evenly. And then stopping in the middle, pick a place on the floor in front of you for focus and come up onto the base of your toes. So spread your toes. Make sure you're not gripping with them. And just come up with those heels off the floor. See if you can find your balance. And then back and forth on your feet, working your ankles, arches, and toes. And then again, back up into mountain pose. So once again, the sitting bones and shoulder blades go down. That pelvis stays nice and open, activating that core. Shoulders relaxing, crown to the ceiling. And then clasp your arms behind you at your lower back or reverse prayer. You can bring your hands so those fingertips come up between your shoulder blades if that works for your shoulders. And then again, knees bent toward your toes, not beyond, and circle your hips. So just working that lower back and pelvis. Nice big circles, as big as you want. And then stop and go the other way. And just remember, always balancing your body in yoga, keeping things even on both sides. And then back into our mountain pose, center into both feet evenly. And then turn the toes out just a little. We'll do our pelvic tilts. So knees toward your toes, not beyond. Hands above your knees, position don't support, so no pressure. And then shoulders right above your toes. Stretch your spine long. And then push the sitting bones back and the chest forward, looking to the front. Get a nice back bend. And then exhale, pull the ribs back 
Then tuck the sitting bones down, looking toward the floor. And just at your own pace, inhale into the back bend and exhale into the forward bend. So feel the core working. Feel this lower back and pelvis working. Feel your heart expanding as you go into the back bend, breathing in. And just feel your whole length of your spine also going through that nice rounding and stretching. And then the next time you're in the forward position, just pause and come on back up into mountain pose. Take a moment as you get back up, feeling that circulation through your body. And then bring your hands behind you. So heel of the palm on your shoulder blades, lower shoulder blades, fingertips down toward your hips. And then pull your elbows way toward each other. Feel that heart expand open. And then lift your heart and look up toward the ceiling, keeping those hands pressing into your lower back for support. Coming as deeply into a back bend as you like. So keep your hips above your ankles. And just look up and push that head back as far as it wants to go as you go deep or not deep into a back bend today. Take a moment and breathe. And then bring your chin toward your chest, inhaling, come on back upright and into mountain pose. And again, just wait a moment, feeling all that response in your body as you come back to standing. And then find your balance grip. We'll do just a little balance warm up. So spread your toes on your balance foot and don't grip with them. You want the base of the toes nicely connected. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder, everything lined up. So a little roll in at the top of the thigh to get those bones stacked and that knee going towards your second toe so that everything's aligned to support you. Core active, ribs towards your spine and up, shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling. And when you're centered on that foot, bring the other one up. So if you're balance challenged, a little bit, or you can bring it up further. And again, you can roll in at the top of the thigh to keep that foot from crossing over. You can pull it up towards your heart if you love it, or not, you can hold it under your thigh. And then circle your ankle, because we don't want our ankles to be stiff and old person-ish. And then flex and point and release back to mountain toes. Shift what worked, improve what you need to, getting that next side all aligned and centered and stacked. Core still active, supporting your spine, shoulders back and down so that you're releasing any tension. And when you're centered on that foot, bring that other one up. And again, only as far as you want. You can keep it close to the floor if you need to. And again, work your ankle, circling both ways. And again, flex some point, straightening things out as you bring it back down. So once again, center it into both feet, feel that stability as you're in mountain pose. Hands to your heart, shoulders down, look at your fingers, and inhale, bringing them up toward the ceiling. Keep looking at your hands. You can stay there or you can back bend a little bit, bringing your hands back as you gaze at your thumbs. And again, exhaling, hands to your heart. Remember, you're in the process, don't rush as we pivot over and drop into ragdoll. Just take a moment to hang, lifting your sitting bones, relaxing your arms, tucking your chin a little bit, move your neck around. Slide your hands up under your knees on your shins and straighten your knees, your elbows, and your spine. Stretch as long as you can. And then exhale back into ragdoll. Just hang wherever your body goes. And palms together, slowly working up 
towards your heart. Keep going up toward the ceiling and a little bit back for the back bend. And again, exhaling to your heart. Pivot on over and hang in right though. Pull in a little deeper if you like with your hands behind your legs. Get a really good stretch on that back of your body. And again, hands to the front. Slide them up under your knees. Once more, straighten and stretch that halfway up. Stretch with everything straight. Ankles, knees, elbows, and spine. And again, exhale back. This time we're going to bring the arms out and straighten everything again. So arms straight out from your shoulders, palms toward the floor, sitting bones back, crown forward and pivot up. See if those arms stay right there at shoulder level as you come to the top. And then palms toward the ceiling, look up, bring your hands together and to your heart. And release into mountain pose. And we'll do a triangle. So go ahead and step wide. So be about as wide as you'd like. If you want to do the realized pose from the ankle bone up to the hip joint, that's the length you can have between your ankles or not. Toes straight ahead, or if you feel like you're sliding apart, you can heel out a little bit so that you've got a little more stability. And then sitting bones toward the floor, ribs in and up, shoulders facing forward. Everything stays facing the front in your torso as we go. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the floor, reach out through the fingertips, keep those shoulders down. And then turn one foot all the way toward the side. Keep the hips and shoulders forward. Heel back, toes forward on that foot behind you so your knee goes the direction of your toes, but your hip is still nice and open. And then really push to the side, get that indentation at the top of that front thigh. Push, the further you go, the further your hand goes into the lower toward the floor. Palms in the direction you're facing and pivot, head reaching to the side, hands right across from each other as they pivot into triangle. So both knees are straight. Your torso is facing the front. So that top hip pulls back, head reaches to the side, hands reach away from each other. And then take the hand in the air and pull yourself back up. Palms toward the floor, feet to the front into star position. Go ahead and release the arms for a moment and breathe. So of course we're gonna do balancing the body toward the opposite side. So remember, core stays activated the whole time. You wanna feel those shoulders and hips staying open. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the floor. Turn that other foot, but not your body. Heel back, toes forward, but again, don't pull that hip forward. Keep pulling it back. Knees are both straight, spread out through your toes, and push at that hip joint. Push away to the side. Everything's still facing the front. Turn your palms that way also, and pivot one arm down, the other one straight across from you. So just pause wherever you need to. You don't have to go all the way toward your leg or the floor. Reach the head toward the side, pull that hip back, pull the shoulders both in line and reach out through your head. Sink into both feet evenly, keep breathing and relax. Yes, yeah, smile. <laughs> and then hand in the air, leading you back up, palms toward the floor, feet to the front. Energize that star from your heart all the way through your fingertips and toes and head. And release. And let's step back into mountain pose. Take a moment just feeling all the circulation, shoulder work, hip work, everything we've been doing. And bring your hands to your heart. Look at your hands, inhale, bring them toward the ceiling. 
And again, pull back with the thumbs, nice back bend as much or as little as your body wants today. Exhale, follow your hands and pivot on over ragdoll. And then come to the floor for our child's pose transition. So hips back toward your heels, hands next to you, palms up, forehead toward the floor, and breathe. So remember, knees together, stretch your lower back, separate your knees, breathe more easily. You can use something under your forehead if you need to, if that feels uncomfortable, not to get to the floor, or even if you do get to the floor. Shoulders relaxing, take a breath. Just relax. Feel that stretch on your back. And then inhaling, sit up. And let's just come to our staff position. And again, work out those hip rotators and lower back. So sitting bones behind you so that you get a good sense of settlement there. Get some propping up if you need to for the sitting bones to connect, knees up, toes up, and heels pressing away. Shoulders and shoulder blades down, ribs in and up, core active and supporting your spine. So you've got a nice, long, straight, supported spine. And then bend one knee, bring the foot up to that opposite leg on the thigh, and let the knee come down toward the floor. So remember, if that's really tight in your hip rotator outside of your hip joint, you can bring the leg over to the side and that'll open it a little more easily. Take a moment to breathe. Just let the knee come as far as it wants toward the floor. Remember, personal practice, do what's right for your body. You can put your hand or hands on the knee, but don't press because we don't want to stress and strain and tighten the muscles. We want to let them relax and let them go a little deeper into the position if they want to. But remember, do what's right for you today. And then bring your foot up into your hand and your knee into your hand or wrap around and pull your leg in if you like it a little more intense on that outside of your hip rotator and move it back and forth, getting it more lubricated. So just a gentle motion back and forth as it gets a little bit easier, if it does, and you like it and you want it more intense, you can lift your leg higher or pull it in closer. And that'll feel a little bit more in that hip. But it's up to you, remember, personal practice. And then exhale and release that leg and just feel the difference because both sides are no longer the same. And what do we do in yoga? We balance the body and do the other side. So bring that other foot up. And sitting bones behind you, knee and toes up on that front foot and the leg coming down toward the floor. Yeah, I definitely strained that side yesterday. So just let that knee come down as much or as little as it wants. Be gentle, remember, what your body does today may not be the same as it did the other day, so don't worry, just do what's right now. Let your front leg just stay up, knees and toes toward the ceiling. You can put your hands on the leg, but remember, no pressure, just let it relax. Relaxing is what releases that tension and lets it stretch a little more. Keep breathing, always. And when you're ready for that rotator to move a little more, bring the leg up. And again, hold on or pull it in, however feels good for you today. So gently or a little bit more emphatically, depending on what your body needs. And then release that leg and bring it out. And bring the bottoms of your feet together, coming into butterfly. So just let those knees go out a little bit toward the sides. Pull the heels in close to your body, hands under your toes, and just lengthen, get that core activated, crown toward the ceiling. And then bring your hands behind you right under your shoulders, fingertips or palms toward the floor. Lift your heart, shoulder blades down. 
and stretch the crown away. So just feel that release through the inner thighs just a little bit more, maybe knees coming further toward the sides if that's working in your body today. And then bring your hands back to the front, lift your knees, bring your legs out to the front. And we're gonna roll down onto our backs for a little twist before our final relaxation. So just roll all the way down onto the floor and relax. So reclined integration, just let everything release and relax into that surface beneath you. And then bring your arms out to T position, straight out from your body. Hands, palms up or down, your choice. We're just gonna do our bent knee twist. So bend your knees slightly, sitting bones toward your heels and pull those heels in right near your hips, knees straight up. Rest your back down onto the floor, and lift your feet up, knees right above your hips. And then if you want a little bit more for your twist today, you can cross the leg over the other one. It'll make it more intense, so don't do that if you're feeling stressed and strained. And then rolling the knees over to the side, look over your shoulder toward that arm behind you. So palms up or down, if you keep them down, it helps to stabilize the shoulders just a little bit more for some people. So do what's right for you. Knees coming toward the floor, you can put your feet down for support or you can put a pillow under your knee if you need to. And don't forget to breathe. So just let the knees come as far as they want, letting that lower back twist. Keep the shoulders down, shoulder blades on the floor for that middle back twist. And turn your head as much as you want toward that arm behind you for that neck area twist. Do what's right for your body, especially during twists. Doing only what feels right for you today. Take a few breaths there. Emphasize the exhalations that lets your whole body release and relax a little bit further. And then when you're ready to get out of this twist, pull your heels toward your hips, roll onto your back. If you've got your legs crossed, you can uncross them and reposition if you need to. And again, back pressing down, shoulders and shoulder blades down, hands palms up or down, your choice. Feet off the floor, knees above your hips, cross the legs if you want to on this side and roll those knees over toward the side. And again, come as far toward the floor as your body wants. Turn your head toward that opposite arm, shoulders and shoulder blades down. Take a breath, just relax. Everything releasing into the twist as much as your body wants, or as little as your body wants today. Always personal practice honoring if you've got some injury or issue with your body. So lower back twist with those knees coming down, head turning for that neck area, and keep those shoulder, shoulder blades down, nice and middle back twists. Take a breath. Just exhale, relax into it, don't force a twist. And of course, when you're ready, pull those heels back toward your hips, rolling onto your back. If you've got your legs crossed, uncross them. Feet to the floor and slide them out into our relaxation corpse position. So sitting bones toward your heels, shoulders and shoulder blades down, hands, palms up slightly away from your hips so that shoulders release. Back of your head on the floor, just move around for that neck to release a little bit as well. Move your jaw, scrunch your face and let it relax. And just allow your whole body to sink into that surface beneath you. Take a few deep breaths. As you exhale, let your body grow heavy. And just sink deep into that earth support. And as your body releases and relaxes, just scan through it. If there's any tension or tightness, just let it go with your breath. Floating away, disappearing. 
body sinking deep into that earth connection. And as the earth supports your body, just let thoughts of your body release from your awareness. And as those thoughts go, know that other thoughts will come to your mind. It's the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. There's no need right now to remember the past. There's no need to anticipate the future. Just let the thoughts flow in and out as easily as your breath without attention to the content of any thought. Breathe deep. Exhale, letting the thoughts disappear on the breath. Body heavy and sinking. Mind light and floating, not paying attention to any thoughts. Just let them go. And as your thoughts release both your body and your mind, let your thoughts and body disappear, allowing your awareness to focus on that peace within. Fill your body with peace, fill your mind with peace, and just take a few moments being peace. And if you have time today to keep relaxing longer, stay relaxed as long as you have time. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness back in with the breath. Draw it gently into you as you are ready to do so. Begin moving your body. Breathe more deeply. Move your body gently however feels right for you today. When it's time for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels with your back down, heels up toward your hips, and then pull your knees toward your heart. Wrap your arms around however feels good for you today, and just give yourself a good hug, letting your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release that, head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.